on the fall. Hi guys, how are you doing? Oh, yes. Oh, watch the steps. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the show. It's Friday. WTF, what's happening in your neck of the woods? Well, it's a beautiful day in the hell of the West and we are having a wonderful time. Let's see what's going on in the news desk. And then when we come back, we've got some exciting features for you. Don't go anywhere. Good morning. The Department of Public Service has officially opened a Labry Digital Development Center as part of strategies to enhance the island's human resource capital. We anticipate a growing number of workshops and learning opportunities at the Labry ICT Center dedicated to its ongoing development to meet the evolving needs of the public and private sectors. The state-of-the-art facility was officially launched at the Vellon John Administrative Building on Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. In other news, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre says that there are issues regarding benchmark qualifications in the workplace. He says, there, he says there are people who are not able to get promoted due to lack of degrees and other certifications. We ask for a study to be done to ensure that there is equality within work experience and other qualifications and academic qualifications. And that is very prevalent in the police, in the customs, and in the inland revenue, these three departments in particular, where people have not got degrees, so they can't get promotion because they have degrees. We have caused and we have asked for a study to be done so that we can find some level of equality or similarity between academic qualifications and experience. The Prime Minister says he is still awaiting this report and is urging for it to be turned in as soon as possible. Additionally, he says that government is not seeking any conflict with workers. Activities in celebration of the 170th anniversary of St. Joseph's Convent continue with a Let's Assemble event on May 17th. The first of a series of panel discussions is organized by the alumni of the class of 95. As ex-convent girls, a big part of our um, upbringing and our time at SJC was around assembly time in the morning, 8.20 we all had to assemble in the hall, now named the um, Mary, uh, Sister Mary Claire Auditorium. At the time, it was just the hall. And every morning, we would get that kind of food for our souls, spiritual upliftment for the day. The day's activity is set us on the right course. So we had an idea to name the, the series that we are hosting in light of that um, metaphor of assembly. The Let's Assemble event will take place at the Sister Marie Claire Auditorium at St. Joseph's Convent on May 17th from 5.30 p.m. All donations from the event will go towards funding the renovation of the SGC Pan Room. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Kendall, you're amazing as usual. Thank you very much. We need to take a short break. We're coming right back. just taking in all of our sceneries you're indulging right well of course by every means go ahead and take in all of it um but we're here at the belgium hotel and and, and with reasoning we caught up with the general manager this is dean dean is the general manager at the belgium hotel and of course we are honored to, 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 to have a sit down with you to find out a lot more about well we, we come here to talk about mother's day Absolutely. Um, but certainly when when we get you in our presence you know we could expand the thing because mm -hmm. the belgium hotel over time has really really solidified its its presence Absolutely. um in the hotel industry the hospitality industry mm -hmm. and it cannot be ignored anymore and totally. it's only your guys so we definitely want to get a feel from that as well what it's been like um you know heading uh, 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 and institution like this one absolutely uh, and you know you know the, i mean accommodation is always mm -hmm. buzzing these days yes. you know and that is something to, to, to definitely admire absolutely whatever you're doing you and your team it's working credit to the team as well um you know fantastic set of team members who are making those what it is today uh, a lot of investment have gone into making the product and the beauty of the product but 
a building is nothing without the people. And kudos to our Belgian staff who has been doing a phenomenal job uh, uh, awarding us all the accolades that we're getting and even, yeah, building a reputation for great customer service, great food, and just the warmth and comfort that you get when you come to Belgium. Let's talk about your, your, you are strategically placed. You might, I mean, talk about right there, mm -hmm. just the two little footsteps away from the heart of Castries. Absolutely. That, that in itself is, is, is a selling point. That in itself is something definitely um, to run with. Uh, but even so, when you do get to the establishment itself yes. now, the views, I mean, you could go to different parts of this, of this hotel and the views, the, you know, the different scenery is just so, so welcoming. Strategically located on the hillside of, of, of La Pensee, we're absolutely a community hotel. The vantage points of, as you said, the views are fantastic. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of our big selling points. When you walk into this space, you get that wow effect. Um, as soon as you see this sort of panoramic view uh, of the Caribbean Sea, as far uh, fetched as Martinique uh, and the surroundings, it's, it's amazing. Sunsets are to die for when you're at Belgium. Right. Yes. Now, let's talk about, you know, how <laughs> difficult or how easy it is to head uh, um, a hotel like this one. You know, uh, let's, let's, let's write it down. Let me talk now because, you know, someone might say, well, that's right. They love fancy there, you know, they come, yes. you know, the thing. And, but... That has not stopped this hotel from flourishing in a very positive way. Um, so what's the trick? What, uh, what do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you, you would find typically people would want to look for a beachfront holiday, uh -huh. a beachfront vacation. But uh, yeah, Belgium has something special that takes your mind off that beach. We do provide you with that option, uh, a free shuttle service that would take you into the city, into the beach for, for the day. Um, but that has not disadvantaged us for not being on the beach. And that is why uh, we boast the service. The service and the care, the attention that our staff give to our guests puts their mind off the beach. Right. And, and, and that is where Belgian strength lies right. in the service and the amazing staff that we have here at the Belgium. Right. You do a lot of like, expression as well from the hotel? Oh yeah, everything is available to our guests. Um, if they would like to, and we totally encourage it, uh, explore St. Lucia, see St. Lucia. Uh, as much as our guests would love to stay in this beautiful tranquility, uh, we, we know St. Lucia has a lot to offer. Our island is beautiful and we always encourage our guests to go out and take in a little bit of what St. Lucia has to offer. Right. Booking-wise, I mean, do, is your doors always open for, you know, St. Lucia to book as well if they'd like to come stay with you? Um, is, it, is it more foreign-based or, or, or you, you encourage St. Lucia? to take that, that opportunity and book as well and enjoy it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, we're now approaching our staycation period. Yes. Uh, locals are always welcome, uh, regardless of time of year or season. But I know a lot of people look forward to the special locals period, uh, yes. which is our staycation period. So if summer is coming, people are looking for places to go and why not enjoy what the beauty and the, the luxuries that we have in our own island. And uh, let me officially announce then, that uh, Belgium Staycation is on offer. So you can reach out to us, uh, 456 1800, for more details on our staycation prices. Wonderful. Well, yes. we're definitely in for that. Uh, anything else you want to leave with us? Anything else you think is of note that we should know when it comes to Belgium? Well, of course. Um, we're new on the market to an extent, but uh, our, rep our reputation far exceeds the period of time that we've been on the market. And uh, again, this is all credit to the wonderful team that we're working with here at the Belgiou. And, you know, our guests come, they love it, they relax. And we've been getting some beautiful guests as well, which makes the process a lot easier. Um, so kudos to, to our market and our guests who are coming as well. Wonderful. Yes. Please, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Always a pleasure Absolutely. to have the DS on board. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Jazz and arts, we're definitely going to be sticking there for some time. Um, Shantae's World, that film, is going to be aired again this jazz season as part of the arts component. Um, so we're getting set to view this at the Caribbean cinemas.
<laughs> I'm here with Dr. Bertrand Emmanuel. We're having a wonderful chat here at the preamble, but um, certainly welcome. We are honored. It is that time again. St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. Shantae's world definitely has to be showcased on this yes. one because it's absolutely brilliant from yes. every indication. Every review that I've heard was great ones. Yes. And it's back again. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here as well. Quite excited to talk about Shantae's world because Shantae's world indeed is our world. Shantae means bold, black, beautiful, and inspiring. Yes. And so the Caribbean people, Africans, we are all bold, black, beautiful and inspirational in our own unique way. I know. Yeah. Now, I know there would have been a lot of persons because it's not the first time that this show, this um, film has been yeah. viewed here in St. Lucia. But you know what? We still have persons who may, not, may have lost or don't know what Shanti's world is about. They have not had the, the, the back you know the backstory yes, yes, about yes, it. Yes. Or maybe even younger ones who are yes. coming up. We want to make sure that they continue yes. to know. Yes everything that they need to know when it comes to Shanti's world. So give us a little, you know, just wire back a little bit and tell us a little bit about the about well, the production. Yeah. Well, Shanti's world is a post-colonial film. It's a historical epic. It's about the Caribbean people, life in St. Lucia and the United Kingdom after World War II. And it's and it's authentic. <laughs> I mean, when <laughs> you look at it, you delve into that time frame and you get lost into it. But, you know, one of the things I am proud of is that I deliberately navigated that story through a love narrative because I wanted the young people to engage. Because, you know, young people are, you just come with the history, some will be yeah. interested, unless you're really interested in history. But um, a love story that captures everyone. <laughs> 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 oh, that's absolute brilliant. Now I now I understand what the noise is about because you know you've married the two so so awesomely there. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful, and that was deliberate as well. <laughs> wonderful. Now we don't want to give too much about Shanti's world. We know it's going to be showed at the um. It's going to be aired. What's the day again? It's going to be um, at the Caribbean the Cinemas. Caribbean Cinema on the fifth, and I say it's five five five. Um, on the fifth, the fifth month, me. At 5 p.m. <laughs> so it's five. not 666, it's, it's 555. Five, five, five. Let's, make, let's make sure we get it right. <laughs> yeah, now, five, Doc, five, we want to find out a little bit about you as well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, come on. Just so you get up and you decide this is what you're going to take on, there's got to be some underlying passion to, 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 to bring that, uh, this sort of energy to the fore as well. So tell us a little bit about yourself and why were you gravitated to ensure that you wanted to, 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 to bring that energy, um, that, that part of the history, um, in such a form that persons could, could, could tap into it and, and, and be grounded in, 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 in that foundation of hey, this is where we are coming from. This is what transitioned with us. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's important to know all that if yeah. we know to know where we're heading. Yeah, well about Matherine Emmanuel, um a teacher by profession. I'm a teacher preacher. <laughs> motivational speaker. I can see the preacher part. <laughs> <laughs> but um something triggered me from the eighth, uh, age of eight I am gifted when it comes to film production because I've never experienced anyone, you know, producing a film, watch or learn or sat with anyone. So I, when I tell people, I just know what to do. <laughs> they don't understand it, but it's the reality, my reality. For now, I'm already pregnant. I've been impregnated with another story. That's how I put it. So I get pregnant with the story every day of my life from henceforth. I see the scenes, you know, flashing before my face and my, in my mind. And I develop it until the time is right for delivery. I left, um, I took early retirement from, you know, from the government, um, I mean, from the school where I taught, and um, that was at the Blesha Combined School. And I decided to inspire kids through film because I realized that they need safe content. Yes. It oh, hurts yeah. me to know that our youth are now engaging, even when they're in school, they all have a cell phone, expensive cell phones, and the content, blue movies for eight-year-olds, 10-year-olds, that's what they watch. But I devoted my, or dedicated my life as a teacher to help produce content for our Caribbean kids. Um, the stories, the so, when it comes to the social context, what they go through in the home, the community, and the things that do not inspire them, I try to show them the ways that they can get that inspiration, the way they can get that kind of information that they need when they don't get it in the home. Mm -hmm. And I started that journey with Ribbons of Blue. Interestingly, DBS is the cradle of Ribbons of Blue. 
this is the fi first um, TV station which took on Miss Edwards. Yeah, I gave a good hug a while ago and I said, what a journey it has been, 25 years. And um, Ribbons of Blue inspired thousands and up to now, you know. So after Ribbons of Blue, I produced Troubled Waters, which is about a young girl who was molested by her dad, but she was able to continue her journey spiritually. And um, tr um, we had Troubled Waters, Tears in the Valley, which was done in collaboration with the Substance Abuse Secretariat. And um, yes, yeah, so Ribbons of Blue, Troubled Waters, Nana's Paradise, Nana's Paradise. is my thing <laughs> as well for what is happening now. Mm -hmm. Because with Nana's Paradise in this film, this young man, in spite of all the hiccups, all the problems, mm -hmm. all the social issues, he decides that the only thing that can make a difference in his life is education. And this is a message that I personally want to send out there to the guys who are troubled, you know, and who just, you know, can't find a way out. Mm -hmm. There is a way out. If we educate ourselves, there is something that you will get that you can do. There's a profession you can engage. Some, some you know, meaningful labor can be done there. So, and now for... Shanti's world, it was the Creole de Affair which triggered uh, that interest. I deliberately went to one Creole Day event in the South, and as I navigated through the process as a school teacher, I, I imagined myself going out there with my, uh, um, you know, a, a field trip with my kids. And at the end of it, I said to myself, but what would they have learned? If I asked them to write a composition about Creole Day, what about our history? Who they have learned that day than just seeing, you know, pans of um, um, stewed meat here and there, people singing yes. and talking. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. there is more to our history than that. So I delve as a historian into our history. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kenny Anthony can tell you that. I was one of his best history students. In fact, one day he told him, my friend, you should go to university and, and do, um, study history because you write better than the books. <laughs> Actually, Shanta's World has the novel to the film. Right. So oh, really? every screening right. we have held, our books are sold out. Because some people tell me it's more interesting than the movie. Some say the movie is more interesting. Well, you have to read the book and then watch the film to tell me which one you love the best. <laughs> but then it's quite humorous and it's quite informative, you know, so and entertaining as well. So I think those who are coming, we do have just a few copies. I can autograph, we can, you right. know. So you plan so, to do that on the night? Yeah, every, every, okay. so every screening night, night we have night done that. that. Right. So for Shanti's world, it was post-colonial times. What happened to the Caribbean people? I used to say St. Lucians, but when we went to the UK, Jamaicans began to tell me, no, 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 stop, stop promoting your work as St. Lucian. You have embraced all the Caribbean islands. Because even that scene with the Laja Bless, yes. we do not use the word Laja Bless, we do not say Laja Bless, but they, I can't remember how they call it. <laughs> There's a name they say. But then um, it's our culture, it's the Caribbean culture, it's the black people's culture. It's all of us embracing one story which relates to our experiences in the Caribbean post World War II. You understand? And I do not want to tell you much because you have to be there to just delve into <laughs> to it. You know, just delve into Shanti's world and find yourself there. Wonderful. Likewise, yeah. we get tickets uh, yes. as well from well, the, the cell and, 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 and these yeah. places, right? Yeah, you can get the tickets at the cell, but at the same time, if you don't, you can always come. just come and get your ticket at the door. And what time or is it going to be fail, um, screened? You didn't understand what I said before. Five. I said five, five, five. 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 <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> On the fifth? Um, the fifth month. The fifth month. The fifth, 5 p.m. <laughs> 555. Five, five. So there you have, you have all the information. All right. Doc, thank you so much. You're, you're, you're so passionate. I'm, I'm sitting next to you and I'm feeling that energy, that buzz. I, I, yeah. I can't wait. I think it will be my first screening. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be, be there. Watching. I'll be sitting right there at the door. And I'll, all those who you're looking for me. I, I'll be there. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to rise, shine, and wine with Soka Size. Leading the wine, we have Serena, Vernel, and Shani. Let's get ready to sweat with Soka Size. It's time to flaunt with a Bacchanal warm up. Let's begin. 
I know you love this one. We're just vibing and feeling the music. Let's go. Four, three, arms crossing and fan. Fan. Again. Touch and over the head. Roll the hip. Roll. Switch sides. Wind down. Four, four, three, two, up and four, three, two. Take the arm. Again. Cross and take it over. Side, roll it. My girl, you look very nice. Oh, Switch. We're winding down. And take it up. Let's go. Cross the arms. Hey. Hey. Left side, hip. Roll it. Right side. Let's wind down. And up. Let's work those arms. Woo. Find it. Touch. Hey. Left side, roll it. Next side, and hip, roll it. Take it up with the arms. Fan it. Touch. Let me tell you, I'm 120 million degrees Celsius. <laughs> These ladies, they make my head hot. Why you want to blow? Hey, take no show. Neural root. <laughs> Why is one of them being a vessel? What's up? M or alpha? Neural root. Four, Yo, three, two, one. Samadula. That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Thank you for choosing to flaunt with Soka Size on This Morning on DBS. And when you're in Rome, you already know. You guys probably get a little jealous, you know. But don't, don't, don't get jealous, man. It just goes with the perks of the things, you know. So, so we're chilling at Belgium. Go on out and have an awesome weekend. Have a safe weekend. There's a lot of things that you can engage in over the weekend. There's a lot of visitors on the island as well. So be accommodating. Let them feel the nice warmth of St. Lucia if you can, it anyway. And um, let's, let's continue to have a wonderful time. We'll see you guys again on Monday, right here for another DBS this morning.